and welcome back, friends, to After Party. We kicked this uh, game off in the last episode, and we're just gonna continue on from where we left off. And Sam is just gonna taxi us over to another area, um, and we might as well just uh, just get going. Taxi. All right, let's uh, let's meet uh, Lucifer. Spoken like a true necromancer. Next stop, Welkin Way. Welkin Way. Okay. I think the, uh, yeah, this game is pretty interesting so far. I love this. So, what's, uh, what's Satan like? Do we, do we call him Satan or the, the devil? What's his. Actually, am I caring too much about what Satan wants? That's probably not a good thing, right? First of all, take a couple of breaths, okay? Morningstar's used to the whole, you know, wow, it's really you, I can't believe it, celebrity fawning song and song. Everybody falls into the reverence trap. Cyrus the Great would have shaken his hand, I mean, you can't help it. But there's only two things you gotta know about the little horn, okay? The first is that him and daddy had a falling out after Lucifer thought he could run the family business better than his old man. He started the war, we lost the war, so we ended up here. In Abaddon, aka Hell, aka the place where it smells like a wet anteater even in winter. <laughs> and second, he didn't make the rules, but he has to enforce them. Huh. Think of him like the first kid sent to detention and forced to become like a hall monitor. He knows he's a bit of a goober, and he doesn't like it any more than you do. But he still finds time to graffiti the bathroom every once in a while. Okay, well he's like evil though, right? Like he invented evil. Oh, we're talking about the serpent and the forbidden fruit now? Well, if you ask me, he didn't invent evil. He invented uh, dissent, opposition. Mm. The idea of uh, going another way, of putting chocolate milk and chocolate cereal and not caring if it tastes like too much, of calling your treehouse your house and your house your dirt box. Of doing your own thing. You know, I can't help but feel like you're defending him, Sam. Morningstar doesn't need defending, Lola. He's got the best attorneys in the universe down here. Uh, okay, I can see the lights. Almost there. Lawyers Hold on. are all in hell. <laughs> Take that, lawyers. That's what you get. Oh, Welcome way. Last stop. Watch, watch, watch your head. <laughs> I like that she's concerned about our well-being. This place used to be... You know, actually, never mind. You gotta do the hike. Might as well let you discover it for yourself. Luke's is the only house. It's the big one at the top. And remember, a night out drinking usually starts a little apprehensive. Songs of humanity secrets only you and your mates know the lyrics to. Have fun. Text me to any cab stand if you need a ride somewhere. I'm usually just cleaning up puke. So. <laughs> Awesome. I wonder why some people look like people and some look like demons. Maybe if you stay in hell long enough, you start turning into a demon. I see a circle. Talk. Is this the foundation of You know, I always get house. nervous Something before walking I, I into parties like here. The hell? I get this idea that everyone's gonna turn and look at me right when I get there and just know that guy isn't cool enough to own a pair of sunglasses. Well, don't worry about it yet. See that giant ass line of people? I don't think we're getting in for a while. No, there's, uh, there has to be another way. Well, let's check it out. Oh, look at him thinking, cut the line. Hello. This is the line to get into Satan's party, right? None other. Uh, where's your sleeping bag and coffee pot? Hold it, come on. Guys, there's gotta be some faster way. Haven't any of you seen Adventures in Babysitting? If a bunch of white fourth graders can get into a jazz club. There's a faster way, definitely. We see people cut through every night. Some people. Let's just keep on. Maybe we can convince whoever's at the door to let us in. I mean, we don't even want to, like, party. We just want to outdrink Satan. Bada bing, bada boom. It'll take like 10 minutes. <sighs> All right, let's try it. Okay. What's this? Elevator. Um, hello? Hi, I'm Gooseneck. I'll be your first floor carriage for the evening. It's the only way up. Unless you somehow smuggled in rock climbing gear. Uh, is this safe? Heights kind of give me a little anxiety. 
Oh, I'm very safe. My last <laughs> inspection and renewed certification was three months ago by one Misha Vasily. And she would know better than anyone being here on account of shoving three different people down elevator shafts. Oh, God. Just let me know when you want to go up one. Uh, let's walk a little further and see if there's a... Uh, well, there's not much more further. Let's do it. Two customers. Let's head up. I mean, we're already dead, right? With the worst in that. Oh, shit. Oh, God. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Whoa. Sorry, it's a little bumpy. I had quesadillas this morning. <laughs> Second floor, dish mops, hand towels, and segregated washrooms. Just kidding. This obviously isn't a department store from the 40s. You're in hell. <laughs> At least everyone has a sense of humor. I mean, uh, they're all pretty, uh, you know, pretty good. Yeah. What time is it? A half hour after you asked me the last time. I mean, how long have we been standing here, jackass? Standing in line or standing in this exact spot? Pick one. Uh, this exact spot? Yeah, something like two days. Yeah. And how long in line? I don't know. I remember people were really excited about faxing things. Hey, fax my ass! God, I don't miss the 80s. <laughs> or ruins. You know, I'm surprised the devil would let anybody live on his property. You'd think he'd want Zanzibar all for himself. Oh no, quite the contrary. From what I've heard, Satan's a real people person, you know? Yeah, but didn't him and his friends have some kind of falling out? Maybe they just got sick of the line. Oh, another one of these. Let's see if there's a. Uh... Alright, we're going up. Hi, we'd like to. Yes, I'm perfectly safe. Christ. We all get inspected every 90 days. Do you think demons can only hold jobs they're unqualified for? What? No. <sighs> Whatever. Uh, sorry, but are you, are you. Aren't you the exact same demon on the first floor? I'm Fenial, the second floor carriage. Ah, oh, different. different name. Okay, we'd like to uh, go up, please. Up aboard, Slim Jims. Two Why organ donors headed up. Why are we allowed to just cut? Oh, all right. Take, take it, take it easy. Oh. I can't control the weather patterns, ma'am, and turbulence accounts for only two percent of falls. <laughs> Third floor. Everybody out. Okay. Let's see. Big lit wheel. Hey, so this Ferris wheel for my nightmares looks like it's seen better days. Maybe turning the island into a horrifying amusement park scared Satan's neighbors away? Nah, they used to die for this shit. Then why'd they move? What was the falling out? As long as it keeps the foot traffic away. Don't know, don't care. Hmm. All right, I saw one of the, yeah, yeah, I saw one. It is the same guy, right? No. Hey, yeah. Uh, can we, uh... First of all, I'm not the same demon. I know you motherfuckers all think we look alike. <laughs> but I'm Spandrel, the third floor carriage. No, 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 we... we don't... And second, yeah, I've been inspected, honey. What, you want to check my ass for tags? Check my balls, see if I've been fixed? <laughs> okay, we... we're getting a little in the weeds here. I, um, we're sorry, okay, we're just... Just trying to get to Satan's house. Oh, it's all right. It's just this is my shit. I'm unloading on you. Don't, don't worry about it. Huh. Oh, it's been a long night. See? Going up, two cold ones. You just gotta be nice to people, and they'll, you know, they'll oh, chill. Oh, why didn't Even Satan just hell. make more stairs? Cause Satan likes to keep demons employed. Oh, That's what. That person. person was just floating. Fourth floor. Get the fuck out. Hey. All right, take that back, you son. Uh, look at these crazy skulls. The art direction in this game is awesome. Any more talking? I also love the, um, even though, like, this is a 2D, basically a 2D game, like, I can't walk forward or back, like, towards the screen or away. I can only go, like, sideways. Like, they still make pretty good use of the foreground, like, people out of focus. Like, even when we're in the bars, you can see, like, um, silhouettes of people and chairs and stuff. It uh, at least makes the game have depth. Which is nice. Uh, ha hello. Hi, I'm Ballister, your fourth floor carriage. Want to go up? Great, great. That's yes. Thank you. He's nice. For now. Your um, associates seem a bit on edge tonight. 
Only the bottom and top floors have bathrooms. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Fifth floor, the Tibbity Top. Zabulba, 616 Welkin Way. Everybody out! Anything over here? No, it doesn't seem like there's really like any like, collectibles in the game or anything. This is quite a quite a house. I mean I guess it's safe. Oh shit. Jerry, I I mean Terry, Baker's blowing up. Ugolino has an extra invitation. Um sorry, but what's what's Bicker? It's the social media down here. Look at your phone. It comes pre-installed. There, see? You can get good info on what's going on in hell. Yo, yeah, uh, what's the commercial say? Geotagged, user-specific. It's a nice way to distract from the perpetual torment. Or to just post pictures of your pets lying in sunlight. Cool. Thanks for the tip. Yeah, no problem. Now back of the line before I cut you. It's Milo and Lola. Still on that mission to get out of hell, huh? I'll just be going into the party now with my special uh, VIP invitation. Aren't you coming? Oh, wait. You can't. Uh. Oh, are you, like, tormenting us now or something? Yes, that is... That is the idea. <laughs> See you inside. Uh, or not, because you suck. Uh. Laugh at them, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Screw that thing, Lola. Let's just check Bicker and find other people with a spare invite. Oh. Okay. Okay, cool. Look, here. There's. Uh, I see two of them, and uh, we only need one. <sighs> Whatever. We'll take what we can get. There's. There's a demon who says he needs help apprehending someone. Side quest. And a woman, Linda, who says she has an invite to give away. She just wants someone to get her a drink. This'll be downright easy. Hmm. Yeah, this is not gonna be that easy. See this huge line? If it was that simple, they'd all run off and bargain with these losers. Nah, they're all just... Wasn't it you who told me about that test that proved people would wrongly stand in a longer line just because everyone else was doing it? Mm, wasn't me, but whatever. It beats waiting around. Let's get back and text Sam to pick us up. That is, that is true. Like, I, uh, I've been in, like, crazy airports where like there's just all these lines like sneaking around to get in and like i would go to the end of the line asking people what line they're in and people would just be like i have no idea like they wouldn't even bother to check what line they're in they would just get in line it's kind of it's kind of a weird invitation oh uh, uh i doubt we can do this let's see what he says oh is this the uh the vip entrance what gave it away was it the everything Move to the side if you don't have passes. Okay. You're a demon with needs. I'm a demon- a human with needs. What can we do to make this happen? You can go and get yourself an invitation. Are you sure? Wait, you know? Actually, let me check my math on- Yep, that would be the only thing. Okay. <sighs> okay. Looks like those guys weren't kidding. I think we need to get an invite. You do. Yep, we should regroup with Sam, figure out our next step. This is a dead end. Okay, uh, social. Anybody want to go to Satan's party night or one spare VIP day? You have to catch someone first. First come, first serve. So it's a demon with a green lip face and a green jacket. Hey, Torx, I got an inter extra invite to Lee's house for a jam. Right? Anyone wants to get a drink with uh, good old pal Linda Margarita. Hey, Margarita. Dirty, 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 dirty. <laughs> okay. It is. All right. All right, now we gotta go all the way back down. Want to go all the way to the bottom or take the long way? Uh, I wonder what happens if we. Oh, we'll floor. take the scenic route. One floor at a time, please. Sure thing. Gate closing. Going down. Like we may be able to talk to someone and maybe like some of the quest. That's what I'm thinking. Or we do some drinking. Okay, let's see if there's anyone to talk to here. Why would they give us the option to go one floor at a time? Unless there's a reason, right? Am I right? No. Alright. 
Cage closing. Going on down. Can we choose to go all the way down now? Oh. Okay. What is with that floaty there? Okay. Uh, we're just gonna... Yeah, we're being careful here. We're being thorough. I'm going on a picnic, and I'm bringing apples, bananas, carrots, donkeys, earworms, footballs, and... There's a time limit here. What comes after F? G. I'm bringing... Uh, shit. Time's up. Gadzooks! I'm... I'm, I'm bringing Gadzooks. That's not a thing you can bring. Oh, let's change the game up. Oh, come on. I'm, I'm sorry I'm being whiny. It, it's just... My arms are starting to weigh me down. How about 21 questions? Only minerals? Fine. I'll, I'll start. I'll think of one. Oh, just, uh... Yeah, give me a minute. Uh, okay. I don't know if that has anything. Two organ donors headed down. I think there's only one floor left after this, right? Okay, maybe we should have gone all the way down. That's my bad. Um. No, wait, we're at the bottom. Oh, no, we're not. Going down. One. One floor. Down. Some, certainly some weird, uh, game level design. But you know, I actually do love playing indie games, uh, just because they're they're always a little bit more uh, just a little Ugh, bit. Ugh, my there. feet are really sore. They got me pushing boulders up mountains all day now. It's good for your hamstrings, but some cardio wouldn't hurt, you know. What? Well, your feet are sore. You're not the one wearing heels. It just it gives you a little oomph. I like it when you're taller than me. I'm just saying, heeled boots for a guy isn't the best anniversary present. It's the equivalent of giving a woman the number to a plastic surgeon. I love you, honey, but what I'd really love is for you to have bigger tits. It's not exactly the same thing. <laughs> uh, alright, there you go. Uh, what's this? Uh oh, yeah, 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 Basically, call it an Uber. So, all partied out? Normally, people are more covered in blood and viscera. But far be it for me to tell you how to live. Uh, we didn't even get in. We didn't even get in. There's a line around the fucking world back there. Oh, we have a plan, though. There's some people have invites, and some people have, uh, have spares. So, if so you wanted to get invited to cut the line, yeah, I don't need the damn transcript. Whose tree do you want to shake first? There's a demon in uh, Bobblin Park. He says he needs help catching somebody. But there's also a human woman who just wants a drink, so... But we know it can't just be that, or else it would have already been done, so... Ah, a classic case of too many good ideas. It's like 30 years of all over again. Guess you got some picking to do. Let's do, um... How do I, How do I select? I can't. Oh. Um, how about I get an invite from a human named Linda? Oh, okay, I got it. Get an invite from a demon named Lila. Let's do. It seems like the woman one's easier, right? Also, this is a margarita, even though it might be a little, uh. Um, well, let's try Linda first. Right? Probably, there, I know it sounds too that. easy, but maybe it is? Oh, I just want on the record that this is a trap, okay? A trap of inconvenience. You're not like crazy fans of Linda's, right? Because she's not too big into autographs. Or meeting people. Why would we be fans? Did she like murder a, a deposed baby king or something? She used to be the lead singer of that witchy witch band, Mercury Worm, back in the 70s. But do you really think she's going to give us her invite just for buying her a drink? Uh, maybe. If that's what she said, she could use the company. But, you know, 
It might not entirely be up to her. What does that mean? Eh, let's leave the spoilers till your second playthrough. What does that mean? Let's leave all the annoying questions till then, too, okay? Next up, little Rontalia. All right. <laughs> They're setting this up to be uh, more of an elaborate fetch quest. Uh, hey, so speaking of, like, uh, music, <laughs> was any of that stuff about playing records in reverse to hear satanic messages? Was it real? <laughs> oh, yeah. And not just records. TV shows, commercials. You know bus stops have those automated recordings? Play them backwards and you'll hear Satan whispering Chinese nuclear codes. <laughs> oh. But Lucifer and rock stars have a real history, it's true. Something about needing to, to scream your ego out into the conjectural void is really attractive to unhallowed spirits, I guess. So is there anyone like actually famous down here, like musicians we would know? Of course, I mean, most famous people are down here. It's really difficult to reach a certain social stratosphere without seriously abusing, like, a small town's worth of humanity. But music, the creative arts, has always been a thing for the damned. Slavery let the self-possessed invent crap like trumpets, and it's hard to really break from that lineage, you know? Anyways, we're almost there. Don't let on that you know Linda. She's kind of embarrassed about her solo album, Helicopter Fuckhouse. <laughs> uh, it's a pretty good name. All right, new area. Let's see what this place uh, looks like. Probably fire. Stuff. Okay, Little Rontalia. Here we are. One of Hell's oldest districts, founded, uh, founded right after the war. Lots of relics, landmarks, a carrot juice bar just opened up on the other side of town, and uh, oh, the dirty hurdy gurdies just down the road there. That's where Linda said she wants that drink, right? Yep. Okay, kids, text me if you need a ride. Have fun at music camp. Okay, let's see. Let's go. Explore hell. I wonder if we'll get to like the all the seven circles that are also this. Or if it's just gonna be these random islands. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I think I have heard of Mercury Worm. Yeah, didn't they reinvent themselves in the 80s, becoming some synth monstrosity? I've told you this a hundred thousand times before, but... But it's always been a dream of yours to be in a band. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if you remember, uh, but I tried in that one talent show in sixth grade. I played a harpsichord and classical trumpet. Yeah. It was like a, like an alternating thing. Yeah, you were, uh, you were really good. Thanks. I know an educational jam band isn't to everyone's taste, but I think some of the faculty, or at least Mr. Thompson, liked it. He was nodding his head, at least. Uh, Mr. Thompson lost his hearing in Vietnam. Well, yeah, it's a beautiful country. <laughs> it was just so embarrassing. Being up on that stage, getting booed, or uh, make friends. But maybe I'm just being melodramatic. Look, Milo, kids at that age are just dick bags. I mean, what 12-year-old's even heard of metal machine music? I think that was the music teacher that said that, but the point still stands. <laughs> uh, man. I love these games. I love the conversation. Oh, a little, little hiccuping here. This game does not very well optimized. I want a PS4 Pro. Sealed knot. Uh, wait. Oh, no, no. so dead end. Ooh. God, I love the art version of this game. Dirty, dirty, dirty is that way? Well, I guess this is. It looks like there's a path towards the screen, but I can't. Uh, purely side scroll. Ah, 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 no, don't you do it. Don't you do it. Okay. So like, don't crash. This this game crashed on the menu screen before I even started the game. How crazy is that? Hello. You two, you there. The Ebony Woman and the Lemon Man. Hail and well <laughs> met. Lemon Man? 
Hail and well met. Hail and ill met. Uh, yeah, hail and well met, my dudes. <laughs> dudes, did you hear that, Longinus? The maiden hath called us dudes. Tis an honor. Do you, uh, do you guys need something? That is so kind of you to offer. We would indeed humbly ask for your assistance. Yes, could the Ethiopian please pick up the small whistle-like contraption resting there at my feet? I'm afraid that's our tuner. Hadrian here dropped it. One's hand tends to get sweaty. Well, much like one's A is most assuredly a C sharp. <laughs> Excuse me, Ethiopian? How the fuck did you guys die? A burning cross fall on you? I don't understand that reference. Oh no, it's happening again. My sincere apologies, we don't always know the correct vernacular. Yes, we mean you no verbal harm. But if you could please hand us the fallen vocal adjuster whenever convenient, we'd be most appreciative. Thank you. Uh, kick tuner, it's the riffer. That would be so mean. I mean, we are in hell. Who are we giving it? I can't move. Oh, there you go. Oh, you've done it. A surprise for the ages. Thank you so much. We certainly appreciate it. Even Longinus here is eternally grateful. Keep up the good work. Yeah, I can't wait to see what you do in the future. I can almost guarantee that whatever it is, we'll be standing right here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Althalos, you're still flat. Uh, what chant should we perform now that we the have The Mass our... of the Angels. That one has um, unripened for me in the past hundred years. What about Starbot Mater? I... well, maybe it's my upbringing, but I, I think it's better when women perform that one. Well, then you pick the damn music, then. No, no, no. I, I don't want to pick. It, it's... it can... it can be whatever you want. Whatever I want. Like the Italian restaurant last winter. I ate the lasagna. What more do you need? I need you just to voice your opinion so we don't argue about laundry detergent every breakfast. Okay, let's just, uh, let's think on it a bit. Uh, quietly. <laughs> Going idle. Uh, let's see. Her dirty, hurdy, hurdy. Anything past it? What was this guy doing in the corner here? Looks shady. Uh... I really do wish this game was a little bit more zoomed in. I feel like you can barely see the character uh, models. But, alright, let's go. The dirty hurdy gurdy. Well, by the looks of it, they serve a lot of lukewarm salmon. After you? Oh, no, no, no. After you. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> no, no, no. Here to the end of the story. Think that lonely looking woman with a haunting stare and perfect cheekbones is. is Linda. Yeah, you could have just said the one with the guitar. Yep, that's Linda, <gasps> all right. Oh, don't be scared. We're just the accursed souls of dead musicians, forever trapped in this shithouse of schlock by that wretched virago, Ono Skellis. Oh, uh, who's. Uh, Oh no, Skellis, the grand negotiator, the band manager of Hades. And the uh. fallen angel that owns the bar you're standing in. But if you want to talk to Linda, just take the puke purple mile down to the end. Can't miss her. And be sure to check out our gift shop. Yes, is that supposed to be David Bowie? And I'm guessing that's... Hey, uh, listen, this is gonna sound weird, but with Linda, can I, like, do all the talking? Why? It's just... I've never gotten to be that guy, you know? Ordering a woman a drink, sliding it across the bar. Hey, if you want to practice your cold calling in bars, be my guest. Just remember why we're here. Awesome, yeah, no, totally. Eyes on the prize. Oh, now we're in control. So that looks like a little Bowie and uh, Elvis and Hendrix. Um, I don't know who the, the chick is supposed to be. Sorry to, uh, but I have to ask. Why are you trapped here like a glittering fish in a very depressing aquarium? 
Oh, a sampler platter of reasons, really. I challenged Ono to a fiddle off. Lost. Because I forgot I don't know how to play the fiddle. I sold my soul for a number one hit. Died of a chocolate overdose not ten days later. Uh, to be... To be fair, I ate that much chocolate because I was on a lot of heroin at the time. <laughs> uh, and I wanted to be the best guitar player in the world. Oh no, made it happen. And then I suffocated in a 52-person orgy. Jesus. I'll be sure to uh, check out your guys' stuff when I get my streaming subscription back. Yeah, thanks for the nickel. Oh. Uh... Wanna get like a hat or something? I already have the song Remains the Same on DVD. Nah, I'm good. I don't think we'd be able to take anything back with us anyway. <laughs> well, it's like a hard rock cafe. But I think that's Prince back there. And then... Uh, it looks like Michael Jackson. Right there. <laughs> I don't know, it looks like No, the Salem Witch Trials were actually right. They just killed all the midwives and missed us. <laughs> Oh, uh, hey, uh, excuse us. Is anyone here familiar with Linda Landon? Oh, uh, yeah, she's playing here tonight. That's why we're here. What about you? Uh... You three, uh, wouldn't happen to know how to get into Satan's party. We're here because we think Linda has a spare invitation. <laughs> Good luck with that. Have you um, seen Linda around by chance? Maybe doing pre-show autographs? She's hanging out over yonder. Uh. But she hasn't done an autograph since 96. Yeah, the Sharpies down here scream when you use them. Good to know. <laughs> Alright, let's get a drink. Free bomb squads, and uh, do you have anything with honey in it? Yeah, we have six drinks that contain wasp urine. Yeah. Four bomb squads! I'll send them over to your table. Next! We're fresh out of priest bladder, but what can I get you? We're gonna get a uh, uh, margarita. Roland's oh, margarita, sounds good. Excellent choice. Now, can I get a second one? For, well, for Roland. And then, And, uh, one more for our friend over there, oh. Linda Landon. Gotta tell me which drink. I'm not a drunk idiot mind reader. Damn it, see, I, I thought we were getting the margarita for her first, which is why I got it. Otherwise, I would have tried to get the lovable Lush, which, um, maybe gives us some flirty power. I'll send a demon waiter over to her table with it. All right, let's go, uh, chat her up, get that invite. Uh, let's drink a little. Get a little uh, liquid courage on her. Hello. <clears throat> Hi. I'm um, I. Uh, <clears throat> yes. <laughs> a Woolen's Margarita from the gentleman with the mulberry wig. <laughs> How nice of you. Thanks. Hey, so, sorry to bother you, but you look a little like the kid that let her balloon into the power lines. Eh, that kid would look a lot happier than me. Seeing stuff explode is fun. But no, I'm doing all right. Uh. I'm Linda Landon, former lead singer of Mercury Worm, current denizen of the Fourth Circle. But judging by your starstruck faces, I'm sure you already knew that. Not that I would, you know, care too much if you didn't. <laughs> Yeah, I can't say that I've heard of you. Unless you're not badly mispronouncing the Lafayette Afro rock band, <laughs> are you? So I take it you're not in town for the reunion at Satan's party tonight, then? What reunion? Oh, Jesus. Okay, some backstory. Mercury Worm was my band, obviously, but we broke up. And in my discerning absence, they added a keyboardist and started collaborating with 15-year-old DJs. Ooh. The fuckers took a fame rocket ship to planet Coke and Hookers. But they all just died in a plane crash like a week ago. How romantic, right? But they're the hot new diarrhea, so Satan Ew. booked them for his house party tonight. Maybe all the album covers posing with drugged white tigers finally bit him in the ass. Uh. In other places. Many other places. Hopefully. Wait, if they died in a plane crash, 
and you weren't with the band, and you can't fly. Then how would I end up here? Wait, Linda, just... If you have a spare invite to Satan's party, we could really use it. See, now that's a problem. When I split from the band, I pledged my eternal soul to Satan for a solo career. And it worked for about six months until my 27th birthday when I died parasailing down the Detroit River. Now, part of my infernal contractual agreement is to perform shows here and ones tonight, so I can't go. But... And neither can my invitee, since you'd need to, you know, come in with me. Uh. They won't let you in without me there, see? Sorry if you came just for that. Do you think there's a way we could, like, get you out of it for the night? Did Moses get out of building the Ark? Wait, wait, let me just, uh, let me quarterback this. You said there's a contract, right? Well, shit, people get out of contracts all the time. My Uncle Jeff thought he had a prenup. He's living in a van in Reseda now. She took his damn hamster. Guys, look, what if we just, we found a loophole or, or a replacement? Come on, give us something here. Oh, it would be nice to be there when Mercury Worm falls on their faces. Okay, if you want to try, you can try. But you gotta deal with Ono, my manager. She owns the bar. She's downstairs right now, probably looking at another undeveloped talent. Good luck. You somehow managed to pull this off. I'll, uh, I'll be here. She isn't gonna... She wouldn't, like, try to steal our souls and make us serve her daiquiris forever down here, would she? Do you have any artistic talent? No. Then no, she won't give a shit. So she's downstairs, she said? This place is a basement? Surprise! It's also a music venue. They dug a big shithole in here and shot out a stage. As for Ono, you can't miss her. She'll probably be yelling at one of her bedraggled assistants. We, uh, keep that in mind. Thanks. We'll be back. Yeah, our Okay, Okay, Ono. Oh, Let's just sweet-talk her downstairs and get Linda off-leash. Roger. I didn't love, like, the... the, the options for the Luke of Courage thing, because, like, the game kind of hinted earlier that, like, could say the wrong thing when you're drunk. You're not always just drinking doesn't unlock like the right answer. And it looked like we were gonna like say like really neat stuff to her and antagonize her. So that's why I kept picking our best stuff. But that makes Want me think we should get another drink. Uh, the courage, witty asshole. <laughs> I wonder what's gonna work with the manager. I'm, more, I'm thinking witty asshole. One. Black Death. Black Death? Sure. <laughs> All right. Does he get one too? Okay. Let's see how this goes. I don't I don't know like if there's a fail state for these games or these options. These musicians. God, yo, 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 awesome. I'm Verena. And I'm Peyton. And together, we're Black House. And we're here with a new single off our mixtape. Not literally a mixtape, but a thing you can get with a download code if you follow us on Bicker. It's called I Get Mine. Drop the beat. Uh. Excuse me, sorry, don't mean to interrupt this thing. Excuse me, what is this? Who are you? We're in the middle of an audition. If you can't already tell, and I doubt very much that Black House appreciates the intrusion. <laughs> Trust me, we're doing you a favor. I'm not even sure if this counts as music. Hey, Dishrag! We're sweating our tits off up here! So will you back your ass up off our collective crotch? Actually, it's okay. And we keep forgetting the words and... Okay, that's... Hey, look, I'm, I'm sure your family has told you this before, but don't quit your day job, which I'm guessing is something that requires very little self-esteem. Hey, we don't come down to where you work and not the, the pen out of your hand because you're obviously a music critic. <sighs> Enough, you people we don't know. Church my scurry and you're in a hurry, so get out. Uh, uh, don't mind him, kids. Little Chattanooga choo-choos. 
Uh -huh. Valak couldn't find the right spoon for his cereal this morning, so now he's a little ill-tempered. They don't have an... there's no meeting scheduled. Okay, just hit the pause button, okay? Give us a break here. You'd give a fucking rock a headache. <laughs> <sighs> Fine. We'll continue this shortly. But house, thank you. I'm Ono Skellis. Some folks call me Ono. That's my auxiliary, Valak. He girds and guards my affairs. I prefer the term executive peon, but... And you were explaining how you didn't really appreciate Black House's enthusiasm, which isn't... it's hard for me to disagree with you. I just... I don't know if this is the right time. Uh... Look, Ono, it's Linda's birthday. Can you believe it? <laughs> yep, years ago, today, she was born, and now we, her good friends, are gonna... throw her a party! <laughs> so... The last time Linda had a birthday party, she was 15, working in her father's hot dog factory. Uh. She... Now, what is this really about? Come on, my stopwatch is running. You don't want Linda to work tonight? Why do you not want Linda to work tonight? Uh. Speak quickly now. Because it's the only way out of this shithole you freaks call home. We're doing the out drink Satan thing. So you need to take Linda out for her birthday tonight. So you can... Drink the night away at Satan's house and try to earn your way back home. Yeah. And your father's label maker said what on your toy chests? Milo and Lola. Milo and Lola. Valak, how many years left on Linda's term sheet? Roughly 10,000 years. Linda got a discount for time served when she lived in San Antonio that summer. <laughs> okay, sold. She can have the night off. All right. Yeah. But you'll have to find a loner. Uh, yeah? A replacement act. We can't be understaffed. Well, we're not talent scouts. I have no idea how to corral some random street performer in time. Well, you better take some night classes then if you want Linda ungrounded. Just find a musician. And don't just go and get any waterlogged corpse that's not at home watching TV, okay? No, definitely not these. It'll be, a uh, top shelf. I should... I'll cryptically add this. Think about the risk here, potentially before you zip off to Never Never Land and fetch some Sarkaline crooner. What risk? The first word a human being ever said was property. I should know. I was there at it. I've bought souls for a baby's breath, and I've bought souls for a ham sandwich. The only difference was the stuff they thought they were getting in return. And for someone like Linda, who's so dog-shaking desperate to get out of a contract, that she'd send two souls who ain't been dead not 17 minutes to bargain with me? Well, I think the plan deserves scrutiny is all. Maybe check it for ticks before you scamper off on the songbird's behalf. Don't let her sell you out, kids. I see bad contracts signed every day. Oh. Well, what the fuck did she mean by that? I only understood like half the damn words. Sarkaline crooner? Uh, I think she's saying that Linda could stab us in the back or something. Maybe like trick us into switching places with her. No, she wouldn't do that, right? You don't know what Linda Landon is capable of, children. But don't lose your concentration. Now, Ono requires a replacement performance if you want her freed up for the party. And don't even daydream about returning until you do. Okay. All right. Now we just have to find some singers and uh, convince them to do this. You listen to more modern-day pop garbage than I do, so maybe you should take the lead. Yeah, makes sense. Let's find some musicalists. Musicalists. Famous for his playing two guitars at the same time style, the Grand Duke of Hell, Astaroth, grew to musical prominence in the late 1970s before retiring from the stage to become a model train conductor. <laughs> uh, all right, let's go back upstairs now. This, uh, this simple quest turned out to be not so simple. Uh, okay, so... We're not going to talk to her, because she's not going to be uh, can... Yo, 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 I feel like we really fucked that up. Yo, yo, I know. Maybe we'll get another chance someday to really impress her. Hmm, I don't know. Hey, what is it? What's it actually like being famous and playing music to huge crowds? What do you think getting courted by supermodels and having throngs of thousands sing your words back to you feels like? Um, pretty good? Wrong! 
I took a hollowed out rhinoceros horn of coke every morning just to face my butler. Getting validated from forces outside your control leads to beating up a bouncy castle because it looked at you funny. Seek acceptance from within, my friends. And if you can't, please buy my newest EP out tomorrow. It'll, it'll do the trick too, I promise. I was hoping we could convince them to uh, say. You ever think you maybe should have just tried your best without the aid of a demonic power? Um, actually, sometimes I. Fuck no. No, never. Yeah, actually, no. No, we don't. We were on top of the world and lost it all. Only kings and presidents and the handsome people who are extremely lucky know what that's like. Wouldn't trade that shit for heaven. I mean, have you seen what they wear up there? Uh, I don't know if I should be trying to get these two here because they are pretty awful. So maybe there's more options outside. Let's go run around town, see if we can find... Oh, what about those three dudes? I got way too excited there. Um, yeah. Oh, look, it's our new friends, the Tuner Picker Uppers. Hail and well met. We've been practicing. A lot. Some would say too much. It's never too much. Hope you've been well. Small talk about your sister and her baby, whatever. Do you guys, by chance, want to play a show? A show? What show? Would we get paid? Are you getting paid? Paid? No, we're not getting paid. And if you wanted to cut a salary, you shouldn't have become fucking liturgists. Hey, I just want to know what the twist is before I sit through the movie. Don't be rude, Longinus. Let's hear them out. I don't want to hear them out. You know what they're going to say. Uh, hey, this might not mean much to you, but this would really, really help us out. I mean, you're Gregorian chanters, right? Catholic? It'd be a good deed. Well, obviously, we weren't good Catholics if we're in hell. To be perfectly honest, we could use the exposure. Foot traffic slowed down ever since they moved the taco hut. <laughs> <sighs> I guess you're right. Oh... oh. Maybe practice a little bit more before the show, because the sounds coming out of your mouth sounds like a funeral that died and went to hell where it exists with us now. Took the words right out of my mouth. Clearly you don't like East Coast chanting, but to each their own. We'll meet you in the basement of the hurdy-gurdy when we're ready. It's Ono's show, and she wants to see a sampling first. No worries. We'll, uh, manage. All right. Okay, so let's go down, and hopefully they'll be magically transported. Uh, okay, should we get a drink first? I say yes. Because that's. What do you have? Okay, ooh. Lovable Lush. Liquid Courage. Liquid Courage. Woody Asshole. That seemed to go over pretty well with Ono, so we're gonna. Black again. Death, thanks. One Black Death, just a minute. Pretty interesting mechanics. Like, I wonder how these would go if you picked like a really bad pairing um, of drink with uh, the personality that you talk to. I mean, I guess we kind of got that with uh, the, the singer chick, because it definitely didn't feel like those were the right answers to, to get her on our side. Upstairs. Okay, let's see if they're down there. there. Uh, book them for the 8th. Oh, no, the 7th. Of August? It's the dry period. No, not the month, the 8th circle. We, uh, we found people to, uh, to play tonight. Really? Yeah. Really? Uh, the, the chanters outside. Huzzah! Huzzah! Where's the third one? Ha <laughs> ha! 
Huzzah! Wait, we're still in the fucking stocks? You picked these guys? They don't exactly seem performance ready. Well, it would really help if we could move our necks. Just a little. Oh, come on, they'll be fine. We heard them outside. They can kind of carry a tune. Kind of? We can carry a tune and move your piano for you at the same time, kid. Yeah, I don't know about this. Maybe with some uh, taxi dancers. I mean, this, it, it needs some elasticity to it. Dancers? This isn't Studio 54. I wish it was Studio 54. If you can't sing, Valak, you dance. If you can't dance, you set things on fire. That's the rule of rock and roll. And no one is gonna watch monastic hermits moan like castrated jockeys. Uh. Unless things are humping each other in the background while they do it. So, Milo and Lola, wanna stand in for me? Oh. Wait, we were told to just get you singers. Now you want us to dance while they do it? We need to renegotiate the terms of the deal here. No. Okay. Just Shadow Valak. He'll show you what to do. Oh, I just no. need to see it in a group, you know? Of course, you couldn't have asked me to do this when I was still jogging. Valak here has been wanting to dance on the Buddy Dean show since he was in Pigtails. He choreographs most of the numbers that come through here. Buddy Dean couldn't handle me, honey. You two. It'll be easy. Just follow the moves as I go along. Oh, great. And don't deviate. I didn't study La Sonambula in college for nothing. Hey, all right. I've been looking for an excuse to show off my, uh, my moves, you know? Yes, your moves. <laughs> It'll be all right, Milo. Just like the, the, the talent show we talked about. You in sixth grade? Oh, you mean the one you couldn't even say anything about because you were so embarrassed by the memory of it. me i always love live dancing are you guys gonna show bush or is it just tits up oh my god will you fuck off wormhorn we don't <laughs> need this shit right now are you sure you want to do this lola's right i mean milo do you really remember the sixth grade talent show that didn't turn out so well did it <laughs> i mean let's be honest lil chad leckler beat up so bad you had to take off school wait milo you said you got the flu honestly he was throwing up so much it's not that big of a lie <laughs> well, I'm sure I deserved it. I kept getting my face in the way of his fists. Milo. It's simple. <laughs> Just move like I move. Whatever, guys. Come on. My bones are falling asleep oh, here. God. Let's uh, get this show on the freeway. Play the music. Oh, no. What's gonna happen? Let me do this. Give me instructions. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. You suck! Okay, okay. Don't be good, be bad. It's more fun for me. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Right? Ugh, okay. This is boring. Come on, make it a Too much stress. Boo. <laughs> oh, God, I didn't see it. You're oh. worse than I thought you'd be. We do it? We did it. Oh. Yeah. Oof. I knew I shouldn't have stopped playing basketball at the Y. Very nice. I can I can see it. I really can. With professionals, it'll really distract from the horrifying music. Thanks. She wasn't talking about you. So, Miss Ono, what did you think? I 
better than I expected. Uh, what? That's it? They sucked! Ugh, God. Whatever. Now that that bit of unpleasantness is in our rear view... I'll let you unfurl the banners. Tell Linda she's free for the evening. Great. Awesome. Thank you. Valak will riddle out the details. I imagine you'll be going to Morning Stars now. Uh, Satan's, yeah. Ah, uh, yes, to try to outdrink him, get back home. Do you think you'll be able to do it? The two of you. Uh... Even if I had uh, misgivings, we have to try. It's the only way out we've heard of uh, so far. Lucifer was the first rock star. You know, before Liz, before Paganini, before that caveman that played a dinosaur's rib cage like the xylophone. It was him. <sighs> And notoriety makes you forget things. Responsibilities to yourself and others. And look, he has bigger things to worry about tonight than a drinking contest. Responsibilities like what? It's just every human creature carries microscopic mites. Mites that live full, hectic, provocative lives. They fall in love, have children, die tragically. And I say this not to make you itch. I say this so that when you see rock stars and movie stars and people with jets, when you meet Satan, remember that you are all planets responsible for a billion souls. And so is he. And what else could be more important than that? Wow. Say hi to Linda for me. We'll be in touch. I'm uh, weirdly glad we did that. It was just, I don't know, it felt good. Uh, okay. Well, I'm glad for you. Now let's give Linda the good news and get her damn invite. Yeah. Oh man, that was like... I was concentrating so hard on the buttons, I have no idea what they were doing as far as like the dance moves. Um, definitely a downside of playing the game, not just watching the game. Feel a tricky on. Well, if it isn't my favorite fans again. Vickers blowing up about the reunion. Apparently they all just arrived. It's funny. I was thinking maybe there'd be a chance Hedgy Jane Myers would end up, you know, north. She was running some fucking Save the Giraffes PSA campaign last I saw. Anyways, how'd the search for a last minute understudy go? Seeing as how this is hell, it probably didn't go so well. We got you an, an awesome replacement band, really. It's these, these, uh, monks? They chant. And they can't move either, so, yeah. Monks. Well, we don't know that exactly, but we do know that they'll be singing for you tonight. You're off the hook. Huh. I'm surprised. And it's hard to surprise someone who gets leeches put in her coffee every morning. Yeah. Come on, walk me to the cap stand. I have to say, I thought this was going to be like baking cookies. You plan on making these perfect little Christmas trees and they come out looking like somebody's father issues. But you guys really pulled it off. And, uh... I'm a little embarrassed to say, my elbows are sweating at the thought of meeting my old bandmates. Those bastards have gone on so long without me. I'm not sure they'll remember this damned old woman. Well, I mean, they did sound like jerks. Maybe set expectations to work reunion or even divorce counseling. It's just, we were like best friends, you know? Uh. And they did kind of screw me over, but I kind of screwed them too by uh, hogging the attention yeah, well that and by embezzling album profits but be that as it may i yeah. just hope we can remember why we became friends in the first place okay get out of here what? Yeah. 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 Oh. That's weird. okay let's get her to the uh, cat It's weird that they, they switch off the The last girls. time I saw Bobby Francis, we got in a fight over what to name our tour van stuffed monkey mascot. I told him his name is Rico, or I'll see you in hell. <laughs> you think he'll remember? Milo, Bobby couldn't remember his daughter's name while we were on tour. No, he will not remember. It's the three monks. Friendships that long are like a marriage. Sometimes you just want to boil a person's face off and shoot the EMTs as they come, but well, dying alone is just too scary to even entertain the alternative. Well, we can't remember dying, so I guess I'll take your word for it. 
whether you remember isn't the important part. You're not dead until there's nobody left that remembers you. That's why everybody wants to be famous. Huh. That's profound. All right, let's keep going. These guys are going to die. Oh, I don't want to be famous. No, I didn't. Why would you say that? Uh, you know what? I don't know. Just popped into my head. Ah, uh, don't worry about it. There's a demonic saying. The longer in hell, the more you are, you are. It means... Eh, who gives a fuck what it means? Let's just get out of here. Uh, I think I just saw a window of two nerds. What for the next to Wash your face, you tea. Uh, I wonder if that's a place we go into later on. I feel like I'm getting a sense of what this, uh, this game's structure is going to be like. I mean, Oxen 3 had like a lot of the walking and talking, but it also had like some really like, surprising, suspenseful moments. It felt like there were moments where I was definitely creeped out. I wonder if this game will have weird turns like that. Because I mean, this seems definitely more, even though it's dealing with hell and death, it like, seems way more lighthearted. Uh, and I don't know if it's going to like have any kind of uh, darker or scary bits. What does that say? Oh yeah, that's a little bit All right, get in the cab. You, what was her name? Linda? I wonder if she will try and screw it over somehow. Like maybe she won't like give us her ticket or something at the last minute. Yeah, it's moments like these I wish like I didn't just stand and let them talk, but then it's like other times when I keep walk walking while they talk, like their dialogue gets cut off. So, I don't know. Oh, oh, no. Please. Okay. <laughs> uh. Things walk all the way back. It's like a uh, Star Wars Jedi Fall Order. Hey, uh, thanks a lot for this. Just give the door gal my name. See you in there. Rock and roll. Awesome. awesome. We are awesome. awesome. Yeah. Okay. So we should just go to Satan's then, right? Like, hey, what's up? Let's just, uh, let's drink you down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Let's just, like a band aid. Quick and easy. Right off. Right off. Hmm. I'm thinking. So, are we not allowed, are we not able to go? So they gave us a second objective to uh, deal with this, this demon who needs help. I'm thinking she will screw us over, like we'll go to walk and wait and then she won't let us in and we'll have to do this one. I think whatever one we did first, that person would screw us. So that's my guess. But we are also at an hour, so we're gonna stop here because this seems like a pretty good natural stop point. Um, we successfully uh, got a uh, stand in band for her and got her theoretically got an invite. Uh, but we'll see how that plays out next time, um, which I will try. I will probably be able to play tomorrow. So we'll keep this going. And um, yeah, really. Really digging this game. I hope you are too. Um, and uh, yeah, let me know if you like this with a, either a comment or a like. And um, thanks for watching, and I will hope to see you in the next episode.